Hello crafty friends. Today I have an unboxing slash share. I actually didn't go through this yet. I just took it out of the plastic uh, of my citrus twist kits from January 2018 and I actually canceled my kit. So this is my last kit I'll be getting from them. Uh, I just have so many past kits that I haven't used yet. So I'm gonna try to catch up and then see uh, hopefully resubscribe again in the future then of course I was a little bit um, naughty and I ended up getting a few extras but I anyways I will start with the main kit so I always love starting with the papers so I will go through that first oh look this is new happy mail is in the house that's cute you can use it for project life this is from the Crate Paper Good Vibes. And I actually had bought a few single sheets from this collection from scrapbook.com. So I'm gonna add it to this my kit. This is Pink Paisley Wild Child. I love this. Um, I think I didn't notice this paper when I when the collection first came out. This is also from Good Vibes. Ooh, look at that. I like that. It's kind of dark. It's a cloudy San Francisco day. Anyways, um, this is Chamel Glitter Girl Unicorns. Unicorns and some triangles. Then the branding strip has some cute cameras. And then this is um, Pink Paisley, Turn the Page by Paige Evans. And I like the kind of, not quilty, but kind of, maybe a little bit quilty kind of pattern. So I got a sewing machine for Christmas, um, but I have never used a sewing machine before, so I have to learn how to use it. I mostly got it for scrapping and crafting. So anyways, this is the Citrus Twist Kits exclusive paper this month. It's very thick. And it's called Off the Grid. Still loving the stars. And then this is this side. And then you get two pieces of white cardstock. And the thickers. This is called High Five. And they're puffy stickers. And lots of words on it. And it has like a white outline on the outside of the black writing and then some stickers from Maggie Holmes I think is this still this is from the carousel collection I still have some of the um, chipboard stickers so I'll have to look for that and put them in the kit too this kit has to last me a long time so that I won't go through too much withdrawal <laughs> and a cute paper clip And some fray stickers and some labels on the bottom. And then this is the cut file. And this is also very thick. Thankfully, I cut a lot out that I still have from my old kits because I almost getting these <laughs> labels. Anyways, and then the page from a book for some layering. And then this is the monthly stamp. And these are some cute frames from Good Vibes Crate Paper Collection. And it looks like there's four. They're very thick, like pom-poms kind of trim on the outside. And this is what they look like. And then, oh, kind of matching. Just some trim right here. And the Good Vibes Ephemera Pack includes five cork pieces. Um, and all of these right here. I heart donuts. Oh my gosh, sorry to be dorky, but I was watching Will and Grace last week, and I've been, I don't know, I just, this, I don't know, a lot of quotes and things from movie, uh, TVs and movies don't usually stick with me, but it was really funny. They said, squirt me into a donut because I'm jelly. It was really funny. Anyways, that's that. And then this is the add-on kit. 
like I said, I was very naughty. <laughs> um, but to justify my uh, purchases, as I feel like I always have to to myself, um, I have had some things in my scrapbook.com cart, including this Main Squeeze ephemera pack, as well as some papers from that this collection. So I decided uh, to not get the stuff in my cart and just be happy with and be so I actually ended up kind of saving money <laughs> if you can call it that um, anyways this is the collection the uh, ephemera pack and I wanted to use this for some cards and happy mail and then this also sold me on this I don't care are these cork alphabet stickers they're really thin and I love the font and the size and now I want more of them but I will resist oops sorry and these are some rubber shapes by Prima. Kind of cute, not kind of cute, very cute. And probably also used for Happy Mail and probably some pages of my great niece, my grandniece. And this is the paper. And again, this is part of Main Squeeze. It was also in my cart. Aren't these cute? This is the back side. And this is called Magic, the Good Vibes Collection. This is really interesting because it has the cork kind of image in a hexagon shape. And then this one. I might have to try to challenge myself and use a full page, but I kind of like this too. So we'll see. This is, oh, sorry. Some very cute good paper. And this is from Chamel Glitter Girl, and this one is called Fall in Line. I love the colors of this. Wild Child. A lot of icons. I don't use a lot of icony things, icony things, um, but in my scrapping, but. I do more actually in some of my Project Life pages, which I've been doing a lot of, and also my Happy Mail. So, anyways, again, this is part of Wild Child Collection, and this is the back side. Then there's two pieces of colored cardstock, and these are the two that came with it. And then I also <laughs> got, <laughs> got the paper, additional papers that came with it. This I had to, had to, had to get um, part of the carousel. And then this one, I saw this and I right away knew what I wanted to use this for. It's a picture from Christmas Day of my nephew and granny. So it's, I was worried that because the coloring, it's more like this color in the picture. And I was thinking it's kind of a hard uh, color to match, but I saw this and I thought it was really cute with the birds. So anyways, I had to get this. Had to, had to, had to. And this is Stargazer from Dear Lizzie. Really cute. Little greenhouse. Telescope. And then Stargazer also. Actually, yeah, I have some Stargazer papers, so I might have to add this. This is going to be a, a big kit for me to work through. But I'll have fun. I feel like if I make some um, layouts and then kind of put it aside and then come back to it, um, I have a lot more fun with it. And then the last thing I got were the Project Life cards. So I don't get the Project Life kit. So what I like to do is just get the cards that come with it. Well, what I used to like to do since this is my last month. Um, because they do match the embellishments and things like that that come in the main kit so I, I think for you know people who do both I feel like this is a really great option because these cards are I think 250 and if you get the scrapbooking kit and this um, I it works for me and few more thumbs up oh I like this with the pink and 
and that is it for my haul, my last citrus twist kits. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you're having a good day.